everyone! Welcome to my channel. So today, I am so incredibly excited to be sharing the Jilly Box Fall Edition with you guys. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Jilly Box, it is a quarterly lifestyle box. However, it's not a subscription. This is kind of like a one-time purchase box. Um, there are older subscribers that do get it as a subscription, but because there's so much like hype for the box or there's so many people that are interested in it, they sell it by quarter. And basically you sign up and you're on a wait list and um, they open up a certain amount of boxes and you may or may not get an email to purchase one each quarter. Now, luckily I've gotten the email the past three quarters to be able to get the box. So I don't know if I've just gotten really lucky or if like they're opening it up and allowing more people or if I'm just in that place on the list because other people have t not purchased them. I'm not quite sure. However, I will tell you I was on the wait list for like two years or like a year and a half before I was able to get my first box. So this box is already sold out. You can't get this box, but you could get the future winter box potentially if you went and signed up. So I will leave a link down below in case you want to sign up on that wait list. So uh, this box is a Canadian based subscription, which is part of why I love it so much because I get to try out Canadian brands that I wouldn't normally get to living in the US. You can get this box in the US. Now the box is $199 Canadian after all the tax for Virginia, I paid about 210 Canadian dollars, um, which I paid like the exact amount I paid was 160 US dollars and 24 cents. So just as an FYI, $200, it's not as much by the time you revert it back. So in like US dollars, the box is probably around $150 before any state tax hits you. And obviously depending on what state you're in, that may look different. And it also may be different depending on the current exchange rate. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes and lifestyle boxes. So if you like seeing these jelly boxes, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. Like I said, I'm so incredibly excited that you are here hanging out with me today unboxing this box. Falls my favorite. I really love this jelly box. This jelly box comes with a dress. Yes. Like this is a true lifestyle box. You get like all sorts of different things from like kitchen gadgets, food, snacks, jewelry, accessories, like clothing. Like you get like all that kind of stuff. And I've found that the box, the two boxes I've gotten before this one have been very high quality and I've been very impressed with what I get now. Fully, I know this is a pricey box, um, but she does help support like small or women owned businesses through this box. I know that some of the um, money from this box goes back to different organizations. And like I said, you get some really high quality stuff. So the fall box itself is so adorable with little mushrooms on it. It's kind of like a neutral fall vibe, which I'm honestly so here for. And when you open it up, that is what it looks like. Up top, we do have our little pamphlet that goes over everything inside of the box. There's notes from Jillian, who is the owner of the box. It talks about how they give back. So, um, they reinvest two Canadian dollars per box sold to a cause. So this quarter it went to two different causes, the Surfrider Foundation Canada and the Raincoast Conservation Foundation. Um, and so it talks more about what each of those do there. There is a recipe in here as well. So mushroom and kale nochi. So it's kind of like a little magazine, but then it does actually go through all of the products that you could have gotten inside. There's also very specific add-ons. So each box does have add-ons um, and there's like, five or six of them. There's like, it's not like if you're getting a FabFitFun and like there's a bazillion add-ons. It's like, no, here are like five different things that you can choose from, which I kind of like because then you're not completely overwhelmed. But I didn't add anything on, so um, we're just gonna get into this vibe. The theme for this box is fall dinner parties. The very first thing out I love so, so incredibly much and it is a necklace. It's a little mushroom necklace. This is Sugar Blossom's Beet or Mushroom Necklace, which retails for 60 Canadian dollars. I got the little mushroom. There was also a little beet, but it's just so, so cute. A beautiful gold necklace. On the back, you do have the closure, and there's a little recipe on the back 
of the th of the jewelry card for creamy dill mushrooms, which honestly I love because I feel like a lot of times you just throw away or recycle what the um, necklace comes on, and this one legitimately has a purpose, which I think is so nice. This is created exclusively for the jelly box, and it is inspired by the beauty of fall. Each plate piece is plated in 14 karat gold and thoughtfully designed um, for ethical practices and quality. I think the necklace is so cute. If I wasn't already wearing a necklace, I'd absolutely be putting it on right now, and I can absolutely see myself wearing this necklace so much. One, because I love gold jewelry and jewelry like this. Like, this is very much my vibe, but two, I just really love the mushroom motif. The beet one is cute, too. It's really hard to see, but the um, pamphlet there is showing the beet one as well. All right, the next thing out is nice. I'll be honest, this is probably my least favorite product in the box because it's not something that I would personally use on a regular basis, at least in my current routine. And it is this here. This is the Justice Paper Co. Grocery Notepad, which retails for 17 Canadian dollars. Now, I think this is, it, it is fun. So you have your dinner plans for Monday through Sunday, what you need for the pantry, what you need for fruits and veggies, what you need for proteins and frozen stuff, and what you need for dairy and all, alternative. Um, I personally, like recently I've just kind of been sticking to shopping at Publix for groceries and I just go in the app and add my list because when you do that, it tells you what aisle it's on. So if I put something on my list that I don't normally get, it will tell me where, where it is in store. So personally, and I save paper, so I haven't done that. Um, I think it's really cute and I like the idea of it. I think some people will really like that. I just have never really been a paper grocery list person. I also feel like there's not a ton of space in each of these, not that you couldn't create like two different columns. Um, it's super cute and I love that it's supporting like a women owned business and I think that it's cute in itself. It's just personally not something that like I would use on a regular basis. So I'll probably put this one in a future giveaway. But I'm curious, would you use something like that? Are you like a paper grocery list person? Are you like, you do, do you have like an app on your phone? Do you just create a list in your notes? Like how do you do your grocery shopping list? I would love to know. The next thing out is the most exciting thing in the box. This is the Mad About Style and this is their The Grace Midi Dress. Now, there were four different patterns you could have gotten but you only got to pick your size. You did not get to pick which color you got. So I got this one here. I chose the size small and it's kind of flocked at the bottom or was it flocked or frocked? I don't know. Anyway, this retails for 119 Canadian dollars. I'm happy with the one I got. They had a gray floral one. That's the one I probably wanted the most, um, but it's really, really cute. This is created exclusively for the Jilly Box. So I think mine might be farm floral. They had birch dot, misty rose, and vintage floral as well. Um, this is a Canadian and women owned brand and it looks really nice. I will have to insert a clip of me actually trying this on and wearing it. I don't know, like I don't really own a dress like this. I'm like, is this my vibe? I don't know, but it looks really, really fun. And yeah, I think it's the fact that we got a full dress and you got to pick, they had a good size range and I genuinely actually feel like this is a dress that would look good on almost any body type. So I thought they did a really good job because honestly, I have to give them major props. A lot of boxes that have a clothing item, it's either, a, it's usually a one size fits all. Or, and I just, I like when it's, like a very specific thing. You get to pick your size. It's what you get. Um, there really isn't customization in this box. So you may get to pick a size or whatever, and you may get, there may be different things you could get. You don't get to choose them. And honestly, I kind of like that element. Now to show you two of the other dress patterns, that's the floral one that I would have wanted. And then there was also that pink dress. The pink one was cute and I wanted it too, but then I was like, realistically on my skin tone, I think that would have washed me out. So I am happy with this dress. Um, you've probably seen a clip of it of me on, of me wearing it by now. Um, I, I, in this moment, don't know what it looks like and how I think about it, but I'm very excited for that. All right, the next thing out is so fun. We have some Vancouver Island sea salt. This is their flake sea salt, which retails for 10 Canadian dollars. And y'all, I love that we get a food product. So basically inside of the box, you just get this bag of flaked salt. Oh, I'm so excited for that. I hope you can see, but it's like flaky. It makes me want to like, I want to like eat it. It looks so good. Um, so this is like something that you can kind of sprinkle on top. Now, 
The theme again is dinner party. And so I, her themes are so good. You have a dress to wear to your dinner party. You have a grocery list to make your list for the things you need for the dinner party. You have some finishing salt for whatever you make. You have a little necklace you can wear. Um, this is crafted in small batches using the cleanest Canadian Pacific water and hand harvested each crystal to unlock the best of its natural properties. Um, so you can sprinkle it on top of your next batch of chocolate chip cookies for a special treat or on anything. So this is a nice just little like finishing salt. And I think this is so fun. I love that we get like a food related item. I'm very happy. All right, up next is from Bloom Maison and this is their Mason collection, which retails for 70 Canadian dollars. So what this is, this is four gauze napkins and one gauze table runner. I love this color. It's so pretty. Um, so this is great for creating tablescapes when you're hosting a dinner party. Um, it's made with 100% natural cotton gauze and it adds a little flair. Um, it's a neutral caramel tone, um, so it will work with lots of different styles. So it looks like everybody got the same color. So you have the four little napkins. I'm not going to take it all out right now, um, but you get four little napkins up front and then you do have the little gauze table runner and it's nice and thin. I love this because I feel like you can absolutely do a beautiful fall look with this, but it's not like so in your face fall that you couldn't use this like in the summer or in the winter or during other times of the year. Um, and really love it. Now this is a hand wash item. So just throwing that out there, this a hand wash in warm water with like colors. For me, that's not a problem for the table runner because you're not washing your table runner as much. For the napkins to hand wash them, these are probably like the fancy napkins that you like have your separate paper napkin with just because I personally would not want to have to hand wash wash them very often, um, but I really, really love it. You get for the dinner party theme, you've got your little tablescape design, table runner and napkins. The next thing out, I love so much and I cannot wait to use this once I have a home. I'm not gonna use this in my apartment. So this is the dinner bell from Monica Hibbs Home, which retails for 60 Canadian dollars, yes. A dinner bell. So this is what the dinner bell looks like. Now the reason why I'm not going to use it now is you do have to drill holes in a wall and in my apartment I just don't really want to. And then you do have a little <laughs> dinner bell. Um, this will be straight. I just literally pulled it out of the packaging but it's this beautiful gold bell. You can adjust it there and you just put it on the wall and it's a little dinner bell that you can just put and ring and I just think it's one, a just stunning, beautiful piece of decor. Let me put it like there so it has like a neutral background. But also it's just like a fun little memory. It's perfect for a dinner party and I just think it's so stunning. And it does come with a little thing inside that does have nails and stuff as well. So it's inspired by the water and it's a timeless piece that brings the nautical brass elements into your home. And I just, one, love it as a decor piece. I, I never had a dinner bell growing up, but I feel like my grandparents may have had a dinner bell. And I don't know, there's just something like nostalgic about a dinner bell. And I just love the design and I think it's so cute and goes so well with like the fall dinner party vibe. The next thing out is from Tav Ceramics and this is their pinch bowl, which retails for $38 Canadian. And this is what it looks like. It's so cute. It has the little heart pressed into it. It's glazed on the inside and a little bit on the outside. Everything else is kind of rough. And this is perfect for putting the salt inside of and serving as a little bowl. You could obviously use it for other things as well. So this is a handmade pinch bowl, which is casual enough for every day use, but elevated enough to be a table scoop at your dinner parties. Um, it's made with a mushroom gray colored clay, and this is a food safe white glaze as well. This is microwave and dishwasher friendly, which I think is absolutely great, but you could also use it for non-food purposes. You could put keys and jewelry or hair ties or different things inside of this. It's just so, so beautiful, and I love that it's handmade. It's just a stunning piece. Now we do have a little bit of beauty in this box. We have something from Sahajan, and this is their Lip Karma, which retails for 22 Canadian dollars. And this is what it looks like. It's just a nice little lip balm. So it is a luxe blend of castor, rapeseed, and argan oils that give your lips the perfect amount of hydration with a touch of shine. So you could have gotten vanilla, chai, or coconut as your different scents. I got mine in coconut, which is really nice. Oh, it does smell like coconut and that's what it looks like. I will say that coconut gives me summer vibes and not fall. So I wish that they had stuck, in, stuck to like the vanilla or the chai scents instead and not included coconut. I do like the scent, but I just feel like this 
takes it away from being a fall box for me personally. Um, so a nice little lip balm. I love a good lip balm. It does say here that a portion of everything they earn goes to Because I Am Girl, which is an initiative that provides one day of school for a girl in a developing country, which is great. And then last but not least, we have this here. This is from The Cross, and this is their Heartfelt Wooden Spoon, which retails for 17 Canadian dollars. So this is what the spoon looks like. This is so cute. It's very well made. It feels very sturdy and is really, really pretty. This it says, meant to be used and cherished, the wood will age beautifully over time. It's perfect for cooking or baking, um, but where you're not using it, it looks adorable stacked. I think this is cute. I don't know how functional this is, I'm gonna be really honest. I think it's a really cute spoon and will look really cute like in display, but because that big hole, I'm like, I don't know what I would use. Like, I guess you could stir stuff with it, but I feel like it limits what you could use a spoon for just because it has that big hole inside of it. But that being said, it's beautifully made. I mean, it's really stunning. It feels really nice quality. It's not like super thin. Like sometimes I feel like we get these and they like get wooden spoons in boxes and they're like cheaply made and you can tell that, but this one really does look very nicely made. I don't smell any like wood scent on it, but it is very, very cute. All right, and that is everything in the Fall Jilly box. I love this box. I really, really, truly love this box. Does it scream fall like stereotypical Hallmark fall? No, but does it give livable dinner party fall? Yes, and I really, really love this box. Is it expensive? Yes, but I absolutely think you get things that you would not get in a box that is like a three times cheaper, you know what I mean? Like this is like three times more the price than like a FabFitFun, but the quality of what you get is three times better or more than what you get in a FabFitFun or like these other boxes that would be kind of similar. I am obsessed. I think my favorite things in this box, hands down the necklace for sure. I really love the dinner bell, even though I don't have a use for it right now. I just know that when I purchase my first home, I absolutely will be using that. And I just love the dress. Again, like when I'm filming this, I don't actually know what it looks like on, but I just, even if this dress doesn't work for me, having a dress in a box like this is a big statement because most boxes would not include something like that. And I just think it's really amazing that they do. So again, that is everything in the fall Jilly box. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of the Jilly box? I always get different types of comments. Some people love it. Some people are like, that's way too expensive. Um, what I will say, I do pay for this with my own money and I genuinely feel like the products in this box are just way better than a lot of other products to get in other boxes and they're brands that I don't normally get. Um, so I really absolutely adore this box. I hope I continue to get picked <laughs> to purchase the box or the future boxes because I genuinely really, really love this one. And yeah, I will leave a link down below in case you wanna sign up for their little like wait list. If you like this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads and I'll see you in my next video.